Hey everybody, how are you? Good, good, good. Well, it is right at 6.15, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. Um, I want to welcome you to our every other Monday night team call. This formatting is gonna be really different than anything we've ever done. So if this is your first call, typically what we do um, is there'll be a short presentation with slides, usually like 15, 20 minutes or so, um, about a particular topic, and then we'll go into uh, an open discussion after that. But this training um, is going to be more of like a workshop style, so hopefully you grab those calendars. Um, and that is going to be, you know, kind of the plan for tonight. It's also gonna be a lot shorter. Um, before we get started, I'm just gonna ask that you grant me a little bit of grace tonight. Um, my husband's gone on overnight training. My toddler has not figured out daylight savings yet, so we're working through that right now. So um, if you hear anything in the background, it's, it's just Nora being a menace. <laughs> um, okay, so. Um, and then I guess I just have one other thing before we really, really, really get started. I just wanted to congratulate um, Octo the October leaders, the October leaderboard. So this is kind of fun. Um, one second, there it is. Can you guys all see that? Can you just give me a quick nod? Okay, cool. So um, this is fun. This is just a little success club recap um, from last month. You guys, October is no joke. And this is not a very good representation of like all the work that was done in October. October is always very difficult, like in the entire industry. And I don't wanna, I don't gonna say that as an excuse by any means or, you know, to let us like justify <laughs> maybe some of us not, you know, or myself included, like reaching the goals that I had, had mapped out for myself. But um, just to really, I say that to uh, let you know that you guys did a really great job through October, um, you know, given, given the circumstances. and. Um, I'm going to put Ashley on the spot right now. I know she's going to be really embarrassed about this because she is like the humblest, I don't know, she's like a silent force all the time. And, um, but she actually um, reached Success Club 12 last month, which is a really, really big deal. Um, and the day before, she was, I think, correct me if I'm wrong, Ashley, but maybe sitting at like two or four points and you were saying how you're like, I have no idea who else I can help. Like, <laughs> Getting Success Club 5 is going to be a challenge. And then all of a sudden, she didn't say anything, like nothing. She just plowed through, and all of a sudden, I checked it, you know, like I do all the, every month on like the third or so. And sure enough, look at what she did. She like crushed it in a day and reached that many people. So congratulations to everybody. Um, but just like in particular, Ashley, I'm so glad that, that um, you're such an example for all of us. And like I said, just, you know, working really hard, um, even up till the last minute. So. Congratulations. Um, all right. Let's go ahead and get started. Um, I'm going to mute everybody except for Nora. <laughs> um, and do you guys all have your calendars printed out? Did you get a chance to do that? Okay. Awesome. 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 So um, this is one of the workshops that I went through at Super Saturday. So it's not my material. Um, I got this from Sarah Try. She's um, an elite coach. She's actually from Wisconsin. Ironically, she's speaking at the San Diego Super Saturday, but anyway, um, so this this is all, you know, or most of it um, is from her, and I just think that it's really brilliant. So get out your calendars, have them in front of you. <laughs> um, hopefully there's a little bit of space to write in the margins. But the first thing that I'm gonna have you guys do, um, let me back up a second. Uh, this is a really good idea to do all the time. So obviously we're looking about, you know, three and a half months ahead right now, um, but, uh, as a coach to best help the people that you're going to be helping in the next couple of months, um, mapping out your month like this can be really beneficial. So you're not, you know, um, crunching at the last minute or you're not sure exactly what to do or, or what to post. So that's kind of why we do this. Basically we're going to just be mapping out challenge groups and stuff for the, for, um, the remainder of the year and then how to go about doing that. So, what I want you to do um, is look at your calendars, and obviously, or maybe November has already started, um, but mark on your calendar the very first, or like circle, star, write it in, whatever, when your challenge groups are going to start every single month. And um, I know Mackenzie and Alyssa, you guys had some a little chatter back and forth, which we can get to regarding December, so if you just want to skip that for now, or go ahead and give it a shot, that's totally okay. So, I'll give you about a minute to do that. November through February. What day? Is it the first Monday? Is it the first of the month? Is it the third Monday? When are you and your team going to start your challenge groups? So, go ahead and do that. So, if you just jumped on, we're pulling out these calendars. Um, and for every single month, for the next four months, we are marking the start date of 
our challengers. Ali, can I ask a question? Uh -huh. Go for it. Um, did I see it right that for January, the health bet starts on the 5th? <gasps> uh, yes, hold on, I wrote that I'm so glad you said that. Um, health bet starts on uh, the 8th. Oh, the eight. Okay, that makes more sense. Um, okay, write this down, you guys. Alphabet is FAQ number. Yeah, I'm not trying to. FAQ number one four nine two. Um, so they're starting with a minimum of a million dollars again. Um, it's going to. Be, they're going to add five dollars for every challenge pack sold in November and December, and there's a guaranteed minimum of two million. So I think last. I think the November one ended up being like one point six. Or something. So, um, yeah, but it start. It'll start on the eighth. Okay, if you guys just want to give me like a head nod or a thumbs up if you have like most of that. Or if I'm going too fast, let me know. You good? Okay. Um, all right. So the next step two, what I want you to do um, is go ahead and choose, <laughs> this is going to be tough for some of us, choose a hard register date. Like um, I'm going to recommend seven to eight days before your group starts. Um, so, I mean, raise your hand or not, rhetorical or not, you don't have to actually answer this, but how many of us, looking at myself in the mirror, are like, oh yeah, the last day register is X, and then you like let people trickle in. Um, picking a hard date really just helps, you know, um, show a little more professionalism, uh, and also really sets everybody up for success from the very, very beginning. So Yay. look at your calendar, um, count back seven or eight days or whatever you're comfortable with, and then mark mm -hmm. that date on your calendar, last hard day to register. So I'll give you like a minute or so to do that too. All right, I see most of you guys looking up. So um, if you need a little bit more time, of course, definitely take it. Um, but again, just so if you just jumped on, um, that first thing we did is we marked every single day that our challenge groups are going to start. And then we're going to go back seven to eight days, whatever you're comfortable with. And that's going to be your hard registration day. OK, um, so the next thing that you're going to do is you're going to pick the day that you're going to open your challenge group, okay? So this is, um, I'd recommend about six, five to six days prior. Um, and you so call back again from, from when your challenge group starts, make that big circle or star, write it out on your, whatever date that is on your calendar. Um, and a couple of things you're gonna do when you open that. So, um, you know what, actually I'm gonna let you guys circle that date uh, and then I'll let you make notes in the margins after. So I don't wanna throw too much at you at the same time, so. Give you just a couple of seconds to, to count six days back here, five days back, and then we'll go from there. Okay, so uh, when you open up that group, um, a couple of things that I would also recommend that you're doing on that same day. So one, obviously adding everybody to the group. Uh, I absolutely, you know, do what works best for you. I absolutely recommend using the app. Um, I think that the tracking is it, in it is remarkable. Um, yes, let's address the elephant in the room. I know that some of the community, um, I, I don't want to say it's lost. You have to work harder in the app to get it versus Facebook where they can just click on each other's profile and become friends and all that kind of stuff. Um, but that is definitely the direction that we're heading. And so if you haven't tried the app yet, I would, you know, absolutely encourage you to do so. Anyway, um, I'll get off my soapbox. So, um, so 
Uh, when you open the app, you're going to go ahead and or open your group. You're going to add everybody. Um, you're going to make a welcome message and go ahead and take it a step further and record yourself on video or go live if you're using Facebook um, or, or whatever the case might be uh, and put it in there. People relate so much better to you on video uh, if, you're, if you're able to do I mean, Everyone's able to do that. I encourage you to step out of your comfort zone and do that if you haven't done that yet. <laughs> Uh, and and welcome everybody. Let them know um, what to expect. Maybe if you have some sort of uh, calendar schedule that you follow, you can put stuff like that in there. Let them know that they're you know this is a place for support and accountability. Um, that you know you host and facilitate it, but it's really the interaction between them that makes it great. So all of those things are things that you can put in your welcome Yay. video. Um, kind of like lay down the groundwork, uh, set the set the expectation. Um, that you're also going to send out a welcome email on that same day. So yes, if you're using the app, they already get a welcome email um, that has the link to the you know your group. However, uh, I would encourage you to send out a separate one that's a little bit more personalized um, with just a couple of things. One, introduce Beachbody on demand to them. So I always like to look at that as a huge, huge bonus. Um, something else that you know whether it's they're watching the cooking show or they're traveling and they don't have to bring their DVD player with them or whatever the case might be. Um, remember, anybody who snags a challenge pack, it gets a free trial of Beach Bunny on Man for 30 days. So theoretically, that should be most of your challenge group. So yeah, introduce um, Beach Body on Man, and then just a couple of general things about how to use the app. So again, just kind of a personal welcome email, and you're going to do that all six days ahead of time, okay? All right, I think I hammered that one home. <laughs> um, the next thing that you're going to do, go ahead and pick, get your calendars back out. Um, and I want you to pick between four and six days that you're going to post, share on um, whatever form of social media you would like um, about your upcoming challenge group, about your upcoming accountability group. Okay, so um, maybe three to five or four to six. Uh, I would say minimum, minimally three. But again, remember, you now have that hard stop date. You have that hard registration date. So obviously... Um, your three days or your six days or whatever you however many times you choose to post about it should be before that registration date so um, this one's gonna take a little bit longer I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a, a minute or two to map that out okay does anyone have any questions okay if you do speak up it's like I said this is super just a little quick informal workshop <laughs> If anyone has a good playlist going on in the background, feel free to unmute yourself. How's everybody doing with that? Do you have maybe at least, you know, kind of like November and December sort of figured out? Okay, just want to make sure I'm respecting your time. Um, okay, so that is um, the third step. And then the last thing that we're gonna do that you guys are gonna write on your calendars is I want you to pick one day um, in every single challenge group. Um, I'd recommend maybe the end of the second week, beginning of the third week, depending on how long your groups are, um, that you are going to reach out to current challengers um, about the coaching opportunity. Okay, so I kind of want to um, just chat about this while you're looking at, go ahead and start. But um, what I mean by this, uh, I am, let's see. I don't mean, 
you know, like mess adding to your team and let's, you know, be huge. And I don't necessarily mean like, Hey, let's get, you know, all the discount coaches in the world that we can sign up. But I mean like people who really add value to your group, people who show up every day or not even every day, most days, people who um, are always encouraging other people. Uh, those people, I want you to mark a day that you're just going to message all of those people and just let them know in a very, um, you know, non pushy way, but like do your, you know, what you should be doing as a coach and letting them know that this opportunity to do exactly what they're doing and getting paid for is it actually exists. Okay. So, um, you know, maybe there's five people in your group that are like that. Maybe there's just two, whatever the case might be. Um, mark a day on your calendar that you are going to personally reach out to them. Hopefully you're already engaging with them on the side as it is obviously doing so in the group is really important too. Um, so that this isn't, you know, you don't want it to be out of like left field. You want to actually have a relationship with these people. You want to actually get to know them on a different level. So, uh, but pick a day to send a message. And I just also want to emphasize, um, that, uh, posting about it in the group is like not going to be enough just kind of if you you choose to do that or not um I sometimes I do depending on the vibe of the group sometimes I don't I really like to keep my challenge groups focused on you know like the health and wellness side of it that's why they wanted to be in the first place and I, and I want to respect that I don't I don't want to use it always as like a or ever <laughs> not always ever as like I'm gonna be on my team um but I, there also are people in that group that can absolutely thrive and reach that many more people by doing so so your groups um are obviously a really good uh good way to find those people okay so that being said um pick a day every single month um again you should have everything mapped out it should be an easy day that you're just going to message you know however many people uh that might be Okay, does everyone have kind of like a really cluttered <laughs> looking calendar, like with lots of scribbles and stuff on it? Um, before we dive into the whole December holiday thing, does anyone have any questions in general about like, um, the, you know, kind of figuring out your, your monthly plan or things that you've done in the past that have worked or haven't worked? If you want to share those right now, that would be super fantastic. But if not, that's okay too. <laughs> have any of you guys, or um, who's who's done this before, or who um, is this your first time doing it? And like, no shame either way. I, I'm just kind of curious because um, I know I'm not very good about teaching it. So <laughs> I've done something similar. Okay. Um, like what I actually I did this after getting back from Summit. Mm -hmm. I, I almost this exact activity. Okay. <laughs> but I did get some good tips out of what you just shared. I did some markings on my own calendar. So what I did is like exactly what we just did with your challenge group, but mm -hmm. then also like looking at the whole month. So there's the challenge group, like the start, the end, all the posts in between in the challenge group. And then I look at like the calendar and I pick the invite date. So this day I'm going to post an invite for the challenge group and et cetera. And then I add in like layer on top of that, our free group for the month. Absolutely, um, yes. And then same, pick specific days to post public invites for the free group. And then sometimes, I usually have it on my calendar also for like our coach sneak peek and our new coach training. But um, sometimes I actually do those public posts and sometimes I don't kind of depends on like kind of the vibe that I'm getting from like my market or people who I'm talking to on the side more like on a one-to-one -one. I, I tend to like to do those invites more on a one-to-one -one versus the public so mm -hmm. but I have them on my calendar yeah I'm really glad that you brought that up um because I totally forgot to mention it but yeah so absolutely put any of you that run free groups for your with your teams um webinars sneak peeks uh coach training groups, all of those absolutely do the same thing. I didn't want to like super crowd it and take all your time. That's obviously something that you guys are more than capable of doing on your own too. So it's just using challenge groups as an example, but yeah, absolutely Alyssa, like um, putting all that stuff on there and having it in one place uh, is very, very helpful, you know, just to stay organized and go for it. And now, um, so you, Alyssa, I'm just gonna put you on the spot here. So you said you did that after summit. Did you find it um, helpful? And like, did you feel like you were more strategic with maybe your post oh. or your inviting uh, by following that calendar? Yeah, like 200,000%. Yeah. 
I, it, I mean, a lot of you guys know, like I have a really juggle a lot of different things between like working full time and school part time and, and doing this. So having like, I don't know if you guys can see, but this is my calendar. This is what I just added things to, but this is what I created after summit. And so that was like end of July. So I did from August through December. And of course things change and I, I update it, but it's so nice for me to have this because every, my process is every Sunday I sit down and I'm like, okay, here's my work schedule. Uh, my, well, here's what I have to do for school this week. Here's my personal life. Um, and here's my beach body calendar. And then I schedule all this into my reminders app and it makes it, I feel so much more prepared on Sundays when I'm going to do that because it's not like scrambling and looking like, Oh yeah. When's that dynasty United call? Was it the first Thursday or the second mm -hmm. Thursday? So I have it all kind of structured for myself. Um, and that helps. It helps a ton. Um, thanks for sharing that with us. Yeah. Lisa. I don't know. Um, if you just want, if you want to make sure you're, Oh, now your camera's on. Okay. Yeah. We couldn't see your calendar. I know I, you know, I kind of could picture in my head what you were saying, but ah, there you go. Perfect. Um, let's see. Does anyone else have any other questions? Shh, 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 shh. Okay, um, Mackenzie then asked a really good question on the same page. Do you want to bring that up, um, Mackenzie or Alyssa? I know you guys are kind of shooting back and forth. I'm going to go ahead and let one of you guys chat. Well, I've always started challenge groups the first Monday of every month, but if that were the case in December, then it would go right up until Christmas Day. So I was just wondering what everyone else was doing and with that three-day refresh being the last week of November, I was wondering if people would do the three-day refresh from the 28th to the 30th and then just start their challenge group on the 1st or if I was thinking about even just starting the challenge group on the 28th or on the 5th and then ending the day of Christmas. I, I don't know. I was just wondering what everyone's plans were. Um, really, really quickly before you guys jump in and give your opinions, I'm glad that you said that. Um, I'll be hosting and with anyone else who wants to too, but you can choose a leadership role and just participate um, from remember, calendar? 28th, 29th, 30th, a three-day refresh group. So it was on the calendar in the group. You're more than welcome to be in it. Um, any of your customers are more than welcome to be in it. Um, it's, it's open to anyone and everybody. So kind of factor that in when you're pushing for it. Okay, go ahead. Jackie Estrada, what's your plan? <laughs> or anybody else too. Dana, what are you doing? Um, I'm actually collaborating with Teresa and we're trying to figure out stuff for December too. So I'm thinking about branching out with her and starting a challenge group. So we'll see how that goes. Awesome. Have you guys talked about when you were starting? You're not totally sure. We were talking about that the other day too, because if we start it on the 5th, it would go to the 26th. Um, I think I, if it was the 8th, it would go in, no, what day was I talking about? I can't remember, but there was one where it was like the middle of the week where it would end like right before Christmas starts. So I don't know if anyone started like midweek, how successful that's been, or if Monday is the best day to start. Um, I, Dana, to your point, I have never tried starting a challenge group on a day other than a Monday, but, um, I mean, that just works well for me because it's like the end of the weekend to prepare and something about Mondays, like fresh start, but mm -hmm. I don't think you, that no. means you couldn't start it on a different day. You could try it and see how it goes. Like maybe, I don't know. Maybe like a Wednesday or a Thursday actually wouldn't be a bad idea. And if, then I if think you did a Wednesday, then you could finish 
Like if you did the 30th, one, two, three, or like the seventh, one, two, three. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, wait, no. I think it was the November 30th. Maybe. Or it might have been like the first. Because then it would get to the 22nd or the 2nd. But Friday is kind of a weird day to start. Yeah, I guess now that I'm looking at my calendar again, you know, I was planning to start my December challenge group on December 5th, like I normally would. But now I kind of want to shift that and start it to start it on December 1st. Because then it would be, so that would be a Thursday. But it's the first of the month, which is also a good time to start a challenge group. Mm -hmm. So you go one, two, three. Then you finish the Wednesday before Christmas. Then you could almost take like the whole week off and then start like right away. And well, January the second is a good January second. Yeah. I'm torn between January second and January eighth because January second. Oh like, yeah, I was looking at that. I put open on the second, but then health bet starts on the eighth, so I put start on. No, the I think I'm leaning towards January. I know we're moving ahead past December, but I feel like I'm leaning towards January eighth as the start for my January challenge group because. January 2nd would mean people would have to buy their challenge pack like before, like Christmas day or before mm -hmm. versus yeah. waking up on January 1st, like, oh, new year, new resolution. I'm going to buy that it's challenge crap. pack <laughs> and I have it in time for January 8th. Plus it's think, the health that start. Yeah, so, I think that's really smart just to like work with what Beachbody is giving us and starting on the 8th. Um, there's also, mark your calendar since you guys all have it up, Super Saturday is on the 7th um so of january so that'll be like another like fun things like help playing help your group but exactly like Alyssa said um you're not gonna want to be spending your holiday weeks and christmas weeks and new years and whatever else um working to get you know it's gonna be a little bit more challenging to get people in and whatnot so that gives you a you know a grace period um just to kind of chime in on the december thing too uh, I am playing, so the past, I've done this the past two years, so I'm kind of just gonna, gonna keep doing that, but, um, I'm not gonna run a full-blown challenge group. I'm doing, um, like I have the last two years, a 12 days of Christmas themed. It's, you know, totally different than, than a normal one. That's gonna start on the 5th and go till the following Friday, so it'll be two full weeks with a weekend. Um, and you're more than welcome to, you know, obviously go ahead and do this and make it your own. I'm clearly not the first person who's done a 12 days of Christmas thing. <laughs> um, but so, and it's going to be a free group. So, uh, anybody who has a program in Shakeology, like my normal, my normal challengers are going to uh, be in it, but anyone else who wants to do their own thing too, um, is also more than welcome. So that's kind of my two cents. I love that idea. Yeah, do it. Thanks for sharing. Oh, hey, I just saw Jackie typed in the box. I'm going to read that for everyone who can't see the chat box. Miss Nora, look at all the people. Yeah, you don't have to cry. Um, okay, so Jackie says, I'm sorry, on a different computer. Um, so she's planning on doing a challenge group in December since we're all about accountability through the holidays. Nora, that's enough. Um, so it's going to be with scheduled posts. Nora. I'm, sorry, I'm really sorry you guys. Um, and it'll, so it'll be a lot easier to fit in while she's traveling. And then, oh, free 12 days of Christmas challenge groups are also on her radar. What do you want? Aww. So Mackenzie, was that helpful? Yeah. What are you going to do? I don't know. <laughs> uh, <laughs> things to think about. Hang on, I'm going to chime in with another option for you, Mackenzie. Maybe I'll chime in. We'll see. Um, so obviously there's that three-day refresh um, option that you can or can, you know, choose to use or whatever. But starting a challenge group on the 28th of November mm. would also be an option, too, because people are going to be ready to do something the Monday after Thanksgiving. Um, in my opinion anyway, and then that gives you one, two, three weeks, you'll end the 16th, so you're not trying to compete with Christmas Eve and, you know, gatherings and stuff too. So that's another thing to consider that I know people have done in the past too. 
Hmm. That puts another idea in my head. Mm -hmm. Mackenzie, does your challenge group this month end on the 27th? Um, it ends on the 21st. I started on Halloween. Oh, okay. Yeah, because mine ends on the 27th, so it, it could kind of work to just go right into another round. Yeah. But that's, all, that's just for me. I was interested in doing the uh, three-day refresh, but yeah, well, you could still you could still do that. Yeah, because you could you could always use like the whole like kickstart verbiage or whatever too. So yeah. any new challengers that want to do it with you and kickstart their program can do it, and um, any who don't don't. Have to. Yeah, Mackenzie, you're doing Pio, right? Yeah. Will you still be doing PIO during that three-day refresh group? Um, it'll just be about done. Yeah. Okay. I only ask because I know when you do the three-day refresh, they say that you shouldn't do, like, intense workouts because you're, like, calorie depleted. Sure, that so, makes sense. I don't know if you've done it before, but that was one of the things I didn't realize the first time I did it. I had, well, I shouldn't say I, I like did it. I stopped after the day because I like, <laughs> I just, I did not do very well <laughs> yeah. with it. So, but I do want to try again because I know I can. I just didn't have any accountability and I don't know, wasn't very motivated. Yeah. It's, it's, it's so much nicer when it's a group really of people. Yeah. I was going to say the same, same thing too. Hopefully a group, um, you know, especially if you have people in it too, and like you're being the example for them, we'll help you with that. I was naughty when I did the three day refresh, and I did, <laughs> I did do the workouts. Um, I think that was when I started hammer and chisel, maybe or twenty one day fix. So the first day was kind of rough, but otherwise, I thought it was okay. So I don't know. It might just be like I don't know. Yeah. And you could always do your normal workout and just not go like full blown hard. Yeah. Like you would. Do you guys have any other questions about? I mean, I don't know if we answered anything or just gave you more ideas. <laughs> um, but I guess that's good, right? You can explore all the options. Yeah. Did you guys have any questions at all about um, mapping out things for the rest of the year or maybe other things you would add in addition to? webinars and coach opportunities and free groups and stuff like that. Or any questions in general, since we're out here and you, if you want to get any. I, I have a question. Yeah. Cause this is something I'm considering changing. So ever since I first started challenge groups, like even before I broke off from Jackie and started doing my own challenge groups, um, I've always, we, there's always been like a coach posting schedule, like, this like for every day of the challenge group here's the topic and then somebody is assigned to it and what i'm finding is that my some of my coaches who participate as coaches and get assigned those posts don't actually do them and i don't monitor it because it's like i'm not here to police the board and make sure that they're doing their posts but i'm considering not either a just like pulling back and not doing something every single day and then just like me being responsible for doing a couple posts a week that kind of keep things moving um, or continuing with what I have done. But with what I've been doing hasn't really been working. So I'm kind of curious like what other people do. Does everybody else do that where they have like a topic a day and a coach assigned the post in your challenge group? Uh, I'll chime in. I'm about to be a big meanie, <laughs> so please don't look at me like that. But um, I guess from like your challenger's point of view, uh, I think you know they're they're expecting like something, you know, every day, and so um, that can mean a couple of things for you as the leader to your team. Uh, one thing is if they're newer coaches, like maybe it's just something that they don't quite understand. So it could be a conversation that you need to have with them about um, your expectations. Um, the second thing is if they've been around, you know, if they've been around for a while, I would encourage them really truly to branch off and maybe even buddy up with two, three, four other people and host a group that way. Um, just because you want, or they want, and you want their customers to look to them 
And if, you know, um, you're always taking them under your wing, which you should be doing because you're a good leader, uh, those customers are going to start to attach to you and look to you. So I think that's something um, to consider. I don't know if I really answered your question or not. Um, I totally know what you mean about, like, you want to micromanage, you don't want to police it. Um, but maybe if you, I don't know, just kind of brainstorming here, you know, had a separate group or if they wanted to, if you had something where they had to submit it, not to you, but to everybody early so that you know it gets done. If you're using the app, you can see if they've already scheduled it out ahead of time because it's all in that feed. Um, so I don't know, that's kind of my two cents on maybe ideas moving forward. That's not going to fix this month, of course. But sure. Something to consider. I just think from your challenger's point of view, um, you know, they expect that. The other thing, sorry, I'm going to keep going. <laughs> the other thing um, you could do that, um, do you guys all know Megan Drake or Megan? Megan Lynn is on Facebook, it's fine if you don't, but she posts in her challenge group like four times a day. Like the first post is the post of the day, the second one is a recipe, the third is something funny, and the fourth is like a mini challenge or something. So if you're posting with four people, maybe you, like in your case, Alyssa, you each commit to one of those. So everybody's doing something every day, and you can schedule it out. Um, and that way if somebody misses, at least <laughs> there's another coach that's posting something. So. Yeah, that's a good idea. Thank you. I'm curious to know what you guys would maybe do in that situation too. Can you say those four things again that they post? Yeah, sorry. You know what? It's my turn to talk. <laughs> um, okay, so what does she do? She does her her daily, you know, accountability. Uh, hang on, let me. Okay, so I have like eight things in my head. Her daily, whatever post, um, a recipe. Every single day they get a recipe of some sort. Um, the third one is something fun, like just not even fitness related, like would you rather, you know, or um, like a, a game kind of thing. Um, or what's your favorite or your whatever. <laughs> um, and then um, the last one is, I don't know if it's necessarily in this order, and then the last one is like a challenge, like a drop in and do a 30 second plank or, you know, something something physical related yeah. the other thing that i was going to say again another plug for the app i don't know if you guys know this i i went live about it probably two months ago so i can bump that again but there is um a whole template for every single program and a random you know mixture of programs uh that corporate has out for you guys to use for challenge groups so that's in the app that's in the if you guys aren't, if you haven't checked that out, I absolutely encourage you to do it. Um, the graphics are super lame. They should definitely have someone from Dynasty United, like, hire them and <laughs> to make their pretty graphics, because I think DU is really good at that. Um, but, like, the content is, you know, fresh in there, and, like, I think all of them are, like, 60-day templates. So there is content. If you guys need to mix it up or look for something, go check that out. Okay, curious what else you guys would do in Alyssa's situation, though. <laughs> All right, if you guys don't have anything else, um, I know we are, we are way over time. I know I was like, oh, half hour tops, this will be quick. Um, but I love the conversation, so that's good. Um, but yeah, if you don't have anything else, um, let's call it for the night so you guys can get back to your families and anything else that you were doing. Uh, obviously, post any questions and whatnot in the group. Um, and let me just check the chat box really quick. Oh, did you, Alyssa, did you see Jackie's comments? Um, yeah, I saw them popping up. I was going to go back and look. Okay. Um, and just in case, oh, because the recording can't hear, see them. Let me just shout out with Jackie. Yeah, I'm on my phone, so. Okay, I'll read them to you. Okay, so she said she would absolutely monitor it more. Um, call them out if they're not posting. I mean, your, your challengers are, are relying on that. Not in the group, so that's a really good point, Jackie. Don't call them in the group, but definitely send them a message and, um, wanna, oh, I just thought of another solution, too. Have them sign up for the day. So, I did this, I don't know if you guys, maybe it's kind of between um, everyone who's on this call, but I did this a couple months ago. Instead of having apprentice coaches, I had, shoot, what did I call them? Basically, they were like glorified super challengers, and they signed up for a day, so it was totally on them. Um, they signed up for a day that they were going to post extra encouraging material and whatnot, so you could kind of apply that. 
same concept, Alyssa, to, um, good, yeah. yeah, like, what day do you guys want? And then you'll fill in the blanks for what's ever left over, so. That's a really good idea. Um, okay, so I didn't even finish that. Yeah, not fill in the group, but shoot that, or not in the group, but shoot them a message or text if they forgot. Yeah. And then Josie said she loves the, the feature in the app. <laughs> Me too, with all the templates, so. All right, you guys. So if you don't have anything else, yeah, let's let's hop off. Um, and I will see you guys in the group pages. Thank you for hopping on. You guys, this is Brittany's first call. She just signed up as a new coach. So welcome to the team, Brittany. She's like super challenger. Like this, like you guys are all missing out. She's in my group. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. But she is like the best motivator and just to everybody. She's so awesome. So I'm really excited to have her part of her team because now you guys all get to experience that too. So um, mm -hmm. thanks for having on, Brittany. This is probably a lot for your first call a little bit, but um, I know you obviously have processed everything super well. And whatnot, so thanks for having on. But everybody have a really, really good night. Um, and like I said, post anything else in the group and we'll, we'll see you there. Bye everybody. Thank you. Bye.